I'm sure you've heard me banging on about my crazy claims that electric vehicles will have a thousand kilometers of range for the average one by 2030 and that they'll cost a price you can afford. Well, a lot of people thought I was crazy. However, a recent report from Clean Technica that's been picked up by a lot of different news agencies now, I think it goes some way into proving my point. It shows you where we're headed. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. And thank you for supporting us on Patreon. Thank you for supporting us by becoming a member of the channel by either subscribing or becoming a member. If you're wondering what membership is, it gives you access to some of our videos a few days in advance. I'll put a link in the description below to how you can become a member. Right now, CATL is about to put its new Kirin batteries into Geely's vehicle. It's electric Zika 001. They say it will give this vehicle a range of a thousand kilometers. There's a series of other electric vehicles coming up by the end of this year, including a Neo electric vehicle with a semi solid state battery, which will have around a thousand kilometers of range. Sure, they're going to have to push hard to get that kind of range. Maybe do a bit of hypermiling. In the real world, they're probably going to get closer to range of 750 to 800 kilometers. But my point is, we're nearly there now. It's not that far away until we see ranges of 800 kilometers plus in a lot of different electric cars. Now imagine how much closer we're going to get every year. Every single year, we're actually getting closer to achieving this target. So it is realistic. Now, no, it's sort of like watching the grass grow. It's, it grows so slowly that, you know, all of a sudden you look out the backyard and, you know, when the grass was fine and all of a sudden it's, it's long. That's sort of how it works with these sorts of things. Progress is slow or it's actually fast, but it feels slow because, you know, in human terms, a year takes a long time. But all of a sudden you look back and a year's gone. It's weird like that, isn't it? Clean Technica shows that 14 electric vehicle models in the USA now have 300 plus miles of range on a full charge. This is actually quite a big milestone. One electric vehicle model for sale in the US had 300 miles of driving range in 2016. So six years ago, there was only one. There's now 14, but they're a lot cheaper on average than what that one was in 2016. The 2016 model year, marked the first time the Environmental Protection Agency certified an electric vehicle with 300 miles or more of driving range. Over the next five years, the number of EV models achieving a certified range of 300 miles or more slowly increased. In 2022, however, the number tripled from the previous year. Manufacturers are still introducing 2022 model year vehicles. So additional EVs will be added to this list by the end of the year. We're looking at 15 or more EVs by the end of this year with 300 miles of range available in the US. And if you look at countries like China, well, that number is actually significantly greater. In fact, there's 30 vehicles in China with more than 300 miles of range right now. As you can see, this number of vehicles with 300 miles or more of range has grown very slowly. One in 2016, two in 2017, three in 2019, four in 2020, five in 2021. So very slow progress. And all of a sudden, it's going to be about 16 in 2022. I predict in 2023, there'll be more than 30. Could that mean in 2024, there'll be more than say 50 or more? Absolutely. But it also might mean we're going to see a new number on this chart. We're going to see several with more than 400 miles of range in 2023. So the list of the 2022 electric vehicles with a range of 300 miles or more in the US right now includes the BMW iX and the i4, the Ford F-150 Lightning, the Ford Mach-E, the Hyundai Ioniq 5, the Kia EV6, the Lucid Air, Mercedes-Benz EQS, Rivian R1S, Rivian R1T, Tesla Model X, Tesla Model S, the Tesla Model 3, and the Tesla Model Y. Now, it's interesting, isn't it, that we don't see any Volkswagen vehicles here on this list, and also we don't see any Audi vehicles here on this list either. Now, if you look at China, for example, there are a lot more electric vehicles available right now with a range of more than 300 miles. And I'm talking, you know, a real world range that's probably close to around that number. A lot of them say they have ranges of 700 kilometers plus. Real world, you're probably looking at about, you know, 300 miles, real world. But that is going to change very, very quickly. Why is that going to change so quickly? Energy density in batteries is rapidly improving. A lot of people don't realize because they're focused on things like people just, all they hear is 4680. So they go 4680 cells. There's nothing else. That's it. Actually, there's a lot of other things going on right now. CATL are working on two different batteries. In fact, they're working on three different batteries. One of them is the mysterious 
condenser battery. I'll put a link in the description below to the video I made about that. Bizarre battery, which no one seems to know anything about. I did a few hours research on that to try and figure out what CATL were talking about. It's a fascinating concept. However, they're working on two big projects right now, which they have already begun mass producing. Apparently, now they're already in production and will be in mass production by the end of this year. The Kirin battery. There are two different types of Kirin batteries. There's the M3P battery and there's the standard ternary Kirin battery. The standard ternary Kirin battery has an energy density of more than 250 watts per kilo. And in fact, CATL say at the pack level, it has 14% more energy density than 4680 cells. What about their new M3P battery? Well, that's a lithium ion phosphate battery using manganese in the cathode. And there's some other metals in there as well, including a bit of aluminum. That is the highest energy density lithium ion phosphate battery we have right now with an energy density of 210 watts per kilo that's a lot more than the current lithium ion batteries being used in tesla vehicles with lithium ion packs from catl or for example in the blade battery from byd but catl are not the only company there's goshan high tech working on their new lmfp batteries catl not tesla as well are working on lithium ion phosphate batteries with a manganese cathode so are a number of other companies in China, Lion Energy. Then there's the new battery company in the United States, which has already set up a battery factory. I made a video about them about two weeks ago, showing the insane energy density of their new lithium ion phosphate batteries, which I think is actually industry leading. But if it's not, their cycle rate and their discharge rate are definitely industry leading. It's a 2 million mile battery in the real world. It's insane. I'll put a link in the description below. What does all this mean? It means there is more money going into battery development, into increasing energy density in batteries, into bringing the cost down than there ever has been in history. By 2030, 1,000 kilometer range vehicles will be commonplace. You won't be thinking anything about them. You'll be like, yeah, so what, Viking? They're everywhere. What are you talking about? We all knew this would happen. And, you'll, and I'll say, oh, did you? Are you sure? Well, I'm here to tell you now, it is a certainty that no one will care about the range of EVs in 2030 because it will no longer matter. Charging speeds will be rocket fast. Energy densities will be insanely high. And frankly, nobody in their right mind will want an internal combustion engine vehicle. Honestly, the future looks so incredibly bright. I just don't know how to explain this to you how to get across my excitement for what is really going to happen. Think about this, 20, 30, 1,000 kilometers of range. What are we, where are we going to be in 2035? Where are we going to be in 2040? The price of EVs, the price of battery technology will continue to come down. Moore's law, Moore's law is an almost guaranteed certainty of that fact. Technology will bring down the price of batteries. Eventually, we'll no longer have to mine the minerals that go into batteries. It'll be a closed circuit loop where we'll just recycle existing batteries. And frankly, we're gonna leave the world in a much better place than what we found it when we were born into it, whenever you were born, whenever that day was. It's gonna be much better when you leave it. And I'm confident of that fact. Thank you for watching.